Okay, so uh, we would like to start. Um, thank you very much for coming, everyone. Um, my name is Takashi Nasu. I'm an administrative staff at the Graduate School of Law Office, Waseda University. Uh, today's informa uh, information session is about our program called Waseda LLM in Asian Economic Integration and Law. Uh, this is today's agenda. Um, for the first half, uh, Professor Kawano, uh, our course director, will be explaining about our um, program, um, about the features and the reason why you would like to study with us. And for the latter half, um, I will be um, explaining a little bit more, adding more information from the admi uh, administrative perspective. And for the last part, um, we will be um, doing a Q&A session. So if you have any questions afterwards, uh, please feel free to yeah, ask any questions you would like. Okay, um, so I would like to pass on to Professor Kawano um, from this part. Uh, Professor, if you can proceed. Thank you, Takashi. Uh, how do you do, everybody? Uh, we are very grateful for your interest in our course because we launched this course three years ago to educate the students who come to Japan from over, all over the world. And in fact, please have a look at the status of this program in our educational system. Basically, Waseda University has a uh, undergraduate law degree and then above that we have three kinds of graduate educational system so llm law school for practicing lawyers and masters in law this course is for the students who wish to become academics and we designed this llm course for the business persons state officials and advanced professionals and as we have we have already accepted so many people from over, all over the world for business persons officials and advanced professionals next slide please and the basic features of our programs can be divided into three first three global and the asian regional perspective because when we considered the, the, the basic design and the purposes of our course, we thought that it would be a good idea to have some sort of Asian perspective because we are in Tokyo. That means it is a center of, center of Japan and also we are part of Asia. Therefore, but at the same time, we cannot think about the Asian issues without considering the global issues. Therefore, uh, we thought that it would be a good idea to have both global and Asian regional perspective. And the second point is, as far as this is a sort of graduate school education, we really, we, we thought it very important to maintain the theoretical interests. But at the same time, as far as we admit so many business persons or practitioners, we want to have some sort of practical analysis as well. And to realize these goals, probably we have to, we have to arrange the course in order to, 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 to let the student to enjoy the systematic and intensive studies. Next slide, please. So if you have a look at the supply chains in East Asia, we have, we Japan have a lot of close connection with ROK Republic of Korea, China and ASEAN states. But at the same time, Japan has been endeavoring to establish a sort of free trade system with NAFTA and EU. So this is a sort of the origin of our, of our project to have both global and Asian, part, Asian regional aspects. Next slide, please. And 
at the same time, probably it is very important to note that in addition to the re, uh, conventional system, I mean, uh, uh, some free trade agreements or economic partnership agreements, it is very important to know about private sector lawmaking in order to be very practical in our perspective. Next slide, please. So, on the basis of these thoughts, we establish the course and we require some course, we require all the students to take the required courses. So far, we obligate three courses as, a require, uh, as required courses, but at the same time, we have prepared for the elective courses. Some, some courses are on Japanese law courses, and some are for Asian regional law, law and the rest is for international law. Next course, next one, please. So, Takashi, could you play the views of the students? I think, like I said, with the LLM and um, the focus being on global law, that has really shifted my idea of law in a sense. And to look at it, that there is a new area of law that is emerging and developing. And uh, because of um, the many transactions that will occur across borders, you know, that this Waseda LLM really, like, when I mean really, it really opened my eye to see that aspect of law, which did not, for me, exist before. So, you may see how interesting to stay in Tokyo to study Asian regional law or to and to have the opportunities to have exchanges with very international students community and international professorship community. So if you have a look at the construct structure or the composition of the nationalities of the students, you may see many students from Asia, of course, but in addition to Asia, we have many students from Europe, the United States and Latin America as well. So I, 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 I'm sure that you will have a very interesting opportunity to exchange views each other here at Waseda. Next slide, please. So as a summary, I can say that why we, recommend, we can recommend you to come to Waseda to study with us. Firstly, this is a very unique course on Asian regional law. So we provide various kinds of courses to see the Asian region and from global perspective. And at Waseda, we have so many professors and for every subject you are interested in, I can say that we can provide you some supervisor with top legal specialists stimulating teaching. And as I have already emphasized, there are lots of students from all over the world. I mean, in addition to the LLM student community, at Waseda, we have, we have been inter internationalized significantly. Therefore, you may have other opportunities to see other students studying various subjects. And we have strong contact with Asian, American, European universities. So some courses are taught from American universities or European universities as well. And for the purposes of the Chinese studies and the Chinese legal system, we invite various professors from China and we have we have we have concluded various exchange agreement with these universities and i'm sure that as a result 
of the study here at WASDA, you will have the network, you, you will have the opportunity to establish the networks of legal professions, business leaders, and government officials. So these are the interesting points of our course, I guess. Next slide, please. So as I have already said, we have now required courses for eight credit and 22 credit for elective courses. And we require a research paper because in order to maintain the academic aspect of, the, of this course, we, decide, we have decided to require the students to write a research paper. And for this purpose, we, we, we provide the supervisors to respective students in, a, in, in response to the interest of that student. So the total credit to be required is 30. And we are now considering a little bit the adjustment of the courses as well to respond to the contemporary requirements of the Asian community and global communities. Okay, the next. So these are the courses which are now provided for in this course, but probably we, are, we will adjust the contents of the course and we will renew the contents of the, of the education all the time. The next, please. So this is the chart for the academic fees. Probably the fees, I mean the tuition and the fees look rather, rather expensive, but as the staff from the administration office will explain, we are trying to arrange the scholarships as much as possible. Therefore, I pass Takashi with regard to the explanation of administrative matters. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you very much, Professor. Um, from this point on, I would like to add a little bit more information um, from the administrative perspective. Uh, so the first part about the tuition and fees. Um, students are required to pay their tuition per semester, and the amount will be um, as it is shown in the chart uh, shown right now. Uh, the, the amount is in Japanese yen. And, um, uh, but if you are currently enrolled in specific program of Waseda University or are a graduate of Waseda University, several membership fees are to be waived. If you are not sure, please uh, feel free to contact us um, through emails and um, we will be more than happy to confirm. Uh, next part um, about the admission. Um, right now, we are preparing the application guidelines for April 2021 entry. Uh, it will be soon um, be uploaded on our website. Um, so please refer to the information to the guidelines upon applying. And I will um, today pick up a few important points to share um, today. Uh, first part um, about the eligibility. Uh, since our program is a master's course, uh, we require applicants to acquire a bachelor's degree or higher at the point of admission. And also, it is not mandatory, but we highly recommend law degree or equivalent law background. Um, second part, um, screening method and documents. Uh, our main screening method will be document screening. So what you submit to us will be really important, uh, uh, such as academic transcript, letter of, rec uh, re letter of recommendations, and so on. Also, we might ask some applicants um, to hold an interview um, with us upon screening. Um, if we find it necessary, we will contact the applicants individually. So um, we would like to uh, schedule, uh, schedule the interview. And lastly, um, the schedule for application. Uh, we only have spring admission. So if you seek to join our program in 2021, uh, you will have to apply in the beginning of uh, September this year. 
So as it is shown, online registration will start from September 7th to September 11th. And after that, we will collect application documents. Uh, that period will be from September the 7th to the 18th. That will be a little bit longer than, than online registration. And also, uh, after the document screening, and um, some people might ha be asked to come to the interview, but um, the result of admission will come out in October 29th, 2020, and the class will start from April 2021. Uh, again, these information are all indicated in the application guidelines, which will come out soon. So you do not have to worry about remembering all these informations today. So you can just refer to the application guidelines. Right. Um, so before uh, we wrap up, uh, we wrap up our information session and move on to the Q&A session. Um, let me share some frequently asked questions, uh, which we get every year. Uh, first part, um, this is quite frequently asked, but is a law undergraduate degree necessary? Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, the answer is it is highly recommended uh, and at least solid basic knowledge of law is necessary. Uh, upon completing this LLM program. Also, the second question, is there any minimum score for TOEIC, TOEFL, or IELTS? Uh, the answer is, it is not set for 2021, but um, considerably high scores of those exams are strongly recommended. Uh, also, the next question, um, about the scholarship. Is there any scholarship available? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, approximately 65% of international students are receiving some kind of a scholarship from um, uh, was it a university or the government or um, also uh, all sorts of scholarships. Uh, but um, we will consider your transcripts and other application materials uh, upon screening for the scholarship. And one thing, um, please note that the screening for the scholarship will be held after you are admitted to the program. Uh, so we cannot guarantee you what kind of scholarship you will get or how much amount you will be supported until then. Okay, uh, the next question. Um, is it necessary to contact the professor before the application? The answer is no. Um, so you just have to um, be careful about what is indicated in the application guideline and follow each steps of the application guideline. And um, so you don't have to uh, contact any professors beforehand upon screening. Uh, as it in, as it is said in this slide, uh, for more information, um, please visit our website, or um, you can contact us through emails, and um, we will answer your questions. Um, the email address is um, it is indicated in our website, and also it's the email address which um, I sent in the emails that I sent to everyone yesterday. Uh, let me add one more um, thing um, about the um, present situation in Waseda University right now. Uh, for spring semester 2020, uh, which is um, the semester which we are doing right now, uh, due to the COVID-19 situation, we conducted all courses online. Uh, it was quite challenging for us, but we are doing fine with conducting the courses online and moving on with the programs. So we are still not sure what it will be like in 2021, but um, we will manage to keep up and provide necessary chances for all students. So uh, please do not worry. And also we are making a new video clip uh, to show how we are conducting the program under the circumstances. and. It is planned to be uploaded around mid to late August. Uh, we're making it right now. So um, if you can check this video, uh, I'm sure you will uh, grasp more specific image of our situation right now and what, what it will be like um, to join our program. 
um, because of the COVID-19 problem, some of the students have not even come to Japan, but at least we have conducted the online program for those students. So regardless of the place where you are, you have a little, you, at least you have, the students have participated in the education. But at the same time, I have found that online education is not every, cannot cover everything. And I hope that we can conduct the in-person education next academic year. And I wish, uh, I, I wish that I will be able to see many of you in the classroom in person. I sincerely wish that. Okay, um, so I think um, we have gone through what we prepared today. Um, so we would like to wrap up. Um, so this is the end of our session. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we hope you stay safe and healthy wherever you are around the world and looking forward to your applications and hopefully meeting you in 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for kind participation. Thank you very much. So.